Hi, welcome to Splashtop. In this video, we are going to see a demo of Splashtop Enterprise from a technician or administrator's point of view. We're going to cover deployment of Splashtop Enterprise, how to invite users, grouping users and computers, assigning access permissions, scheduling remote access, team settings available, unattended access, remote computer management, attended access using the SOS app, and then finally logs. Let's begin with deploying Splashtop Enterprise. You need to install a Splashtop streamer on the computers to make them remotely accessible. Log into your my.splashtop console and under the Management tab, go to Deployment, create a deployment package, and customize the default streamer settings for deployment. This way you don't have to manually configure the settings after installation. When creating the deployment package, you have the option of specifying default settings, including computer naming rules, security settings, sound redirection, etc. Go ahead and save the package. Next, to deploy the package, Click on Deploy. To get two options, you can either use the link there and email it or share it with another user to deploy on another computer, or you can directly download onto the existing computer. I'm going to go ahead and try the link. Allow remote access to the computer. And depending on which OS you are running, Download the appropriate installer. You can also install Splashtop Streamer silently or use Group Policy, Jam Pro, or Microsoft Intune. More details about this are available on our Splashtop Enterprise Administrator Guide. The guide also lists additional setup instructions if you are deploying the streamer to a Mac computer. Splashtop Enterprise also supports integration with single sign-on identity providers like Azure AD, Okta, ADFS, JumpCloud, OneLogin, and many more to enable centralized authentication. You can also set up SCIM provisioning if you use Azure AD or Okta to automatically provision and sync users and groups. To read more about it, go to splashtop.com slash enterprise and scroll down to see the administrator guide. Now let's look at how you can invite users to your Splashtop account. In the management tab, Go to Users and click on Invite Users. Specify the email IDs you'd like to invite and mark their role as either an admin or a member. You can also set them as group specific admins instead of regular admins and specify the group that they belong to. We'll look at creating groups in just a bit. The user, on the other hand, gets set up in just three simple steps. Accept the invitation, download the Splashtop business app, and access the computers they have been given permissions to. Now let's look at creating user and computer groups. In your my.splashtop console, in the management tab, go to grouping and create a group. You can create user groups, computer groups, or both. You can create multiple groups separated by commas. I'm going to create groups based on the locations of our offices. So San Jose, Japan, and Amsterdam. I'm going to create group. And now I have three user as well as computer groups. You can assign users and computers by clicking the gear icon there. I'm going to assign this user 
to the group. And now even a computer. You can also do this by going to the users under the management tab and clicking on the gear icon here. I can change the user group here. And similarly, in the management tab, if you go to all computers, you can change the group there as well. We saw inviting users before and now that we have created these groups, you can add the groups right when you invite the users from here. Now let's look at assigning access permissions to users. In your my.splashtop console in the management tab, go to users. And here you can assign access permissions either by group or by individual user. I click on access permissions. And using this, I can assign persistent anytime access to either all computers computers by group, specific computers, no computers, in which case you will schedule access, which we'll see in the next section, or you can do computers based on group permissions. Since I chose by group permissions, I'm going to assign the permissions to the group here. Once again, if you choose no computers, you can schedule the remote access. Now let's look at how you can schedule remote access. In the management tab, first go to settings and ensure that the time zone is correct here. Then go to management and click on scheduled access. You first create a resource. Select a resource name And in advanced settings, you can choose either exclusive remote or local access for this computer resource. You can prevent members from accessing the computer which has already been logged in. When you click on next, you can now select the computers. That I select the San Jose group. You can assign a group admin here and create the resource. You can either schedule it now or do it later. I'm going to create the schedule now. I'm going to give access from Monday to Friday, 9 to 6. You can even schedule shifts using this functionality and assign, you can use uh, granular times here up to the minute. And I'm going to choose all working days, Monday through Friday. You can either assign the user groups, and I'm going to choose San Jose here. Or you can include individual emails. Uh, you can have multiple emails separated again by the comma. And I'm going to create the schedule. As you can see, I've created scheduled access from 9 to 6, Monday through Friday for the San Jose group. I can go in there and edit the schedule delete it, phone or pause the schedule.
Now let's look at some of the team settings that are available to you. In the management tab, go to settings. And these are the team settings that are available only to the team owner. You can choose the team name. You see the number of computers that the streamer is deployed on. And these are the settings that control important policies for your team, such as feature capabilities and authentication. That is the time zone for scheduled access, two-step verification, device authentication. You can set up third-party integrations. You can apply for a new single sign-on method and so on. Now let's see how unattended access works. In your Computers tab, you see all the computers that you have access to. Click Connect to remote into the computer. I'm now remoted in and I can use the computer as if I was sitting right in front of it. If you noticed, when I remoted in, it signaled that now this computer is busy. You have access to this toolbar wherein you can view multiple monitors, switch between monitors, you have view options, you can maximize the screen, control alt delete, you can record the session, transfer files between the two computers, and other actions like blank screen, sharing the desktop, and so on as well as chat. End users as well as technicians can use unattended access to either work remotely as well as provide remote support. You simply disconnect once the session is done. Now let's look at the remote computer management features available within Splashtop Enterprise. On your Computers tab, if you click the gear icon next to the computer, you will see all the features available. You can view event logs that you can filter by event level, type, date range, and ID. You can also view and compare snapshots of a computer system hardware or software inventory. You can also export this information. In the Management tab, if you go to Endpoint Security, you can view the security status for all your Windows computers. You can also purchase additional licensing for Bitdefender to enable installing and scanning directly from here. Going here, you can also check on a computer's Windows update status. You can view or push available updates immediately or at a scheduled time for a specific computer. You can apply updates, change policies, and check for updates. You also have access to one-to-many actions that allow you to immediately run or schedule a system reboot or Windows update to multiple computers or computer groups. Here you can schedule the one-to-many action. Also from your Splashtop business app, you have the ability to send command line or terminal commands to a remote Windows or Mac computer in the background. Now let's look at how technicians can provide remote support using attended access. On the Splashtop Business app, click on the SOS icon and click on Invite User. You can send this message to the end user either through email or copy paste it and send it through chat. 
The end user then goes to that link and downloads and runs a small app. Running the SOS app generates a nine-digit session code. The end user then sends the session code back to the technician. The technician enters it here and enters to connect to the remote computer. Now I'm remoted in and I have access to the same toolbar as we saw with the unattended access session. Once I'm done troubleshooting and providing support, I disconnect to end the session. Splashtop maintains logs for self-auditing. Team owner and admins can view logs of everyone in the team and members can only see their own logs. You have session logs, file transfer logs, chat sessions and history for attended as well as unattended access. You can go to splashtop.com enterprise to learn more or contact us to get started with a free trial of Splashtop Enterprise. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.